Hey guys, what's up? Matt from Janky Shack. Today we're going to be looking at how to fix a LED recess light that is flickering. So uh, let, me, let me just go ahead and show you the symptom. Okay, so as you can see, there's like this little, uh, it's usually covered up part of the uh, LED. So you can move this part here. This lights, this is the LED, this is still good. This is the power uh, supply or whatever they call it. Basically, uh, as you can see, there's like a little transformer here and there's a capacitor. And in the capacitor, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's kind of puffed up right here. The top is a uh, is uh, kind of puffed up. So what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to show you how to replace this so that the flickering will stop. So the first thing I did was I read on there on the side uh, you can see I don't know if you can see this but it says 400 volts uh, 10 microfarad which is the UF so I went ahead and ordered a new one. And when I ordered the new one, because I, I think the problem is uh, it's it's in the attic. Yeah, uh, this this part it goes in the attic and it gets really hot. So I ordered some ones that are uh, 105 Celsius, which is like about 230 degrees Fahrenheit. So it should be able to take the heat and not flicker like the old ones. So what you're gonna need is a soldering iron some solder, uh, some flux. You can do it without flux, but this makes it like 20 times easier. And uh, some cutters. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, these two pads here for the uh, capacitor. So take note, first of all, so there you can see the uh, 400 volt, 10 microfarad. There's a strip on here that says minus, that's the uh, negative side. And uh, on the new one, you'll have a strip also. So make sure that you remember where that strip goes so that you can put the capacitor in the correct direction. This one's away from the transformer, so we'll just remember that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my soldering iron. And you can try to heat it up, but it's gonna be pretty difficult. What I like to do is take that flux and I don't I usually use a toothpick but I'm gonna use this. Basically like grease, so you're just gonna grease it on and when you come in with the soldering iron. kind of pull on the capacitor and then it'll pop out and doing the same on the other side and there you go now this capacitor is off and you got your two holes there so you take a new one uh, remember that strip goes away from the uh, so take the You can see, uh, sorry my camera ran out, you can see I got the uh, capacitor in there and you just kind of bend it over to where it was originally. Uh, I got the stripe on the correct side, now we're just going to throw some solder in there. And now you can see it's soldered. Take our cutters, trim the tails, and then push that down into the original spot. And there we go. 
So now we're gonna put it back together with the light and check the make sure the light works. I'll give you another view of this capacitor. See how it's like puffed up on the edge? That means the capacitor's bad. Hey guys, if this video helped you out at all, or you learned anything, please give me a like and a uh, subscribe. Also check out my website, jankyshock.com. Got a lot of cool videos, photos of projects, and a lot of stupid rhetorical articles that you guys can read if you want. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.